and we're going to clean up a lot of the acreage on the western side of the lake, not on the lake shore, but on the western side of the lake, so that some of the businesses that want to locate here in Salve and in Geddes and have been just needing that extra push to get them over the hump, they're now going to be able to do that. So we're going to do things like we've done in this building already and bring our Save the Rain program here and try to do some of the projects that will keep that stormwater out of the system so that you don't have to pay to treat clean rainwater and at the same time those sites will be able to be put to work for you for job creation. One major improvement, and we highlighted it for the governor, this project is going to improve Bridge Street. From the State Fairgrounds over on State Fair Boulevard all the way to the village um, at Milton Ave. That street is not at all pedestrian friendly and it's a real welcome map for the village of Salve and we would like to, when uh, people are coming to the new site or people are coming to the state fairgrounds, we'd like it to be an easy, beautiful walk into the village of Salve. It'll help the businesses in Salve if we can capture some of those million people that come to the state fair and have them be able to walk up the street. We have beautiful pictures of what we've been able to accomplish in the last year. I don't know if any of you have seen University Ave in the city of Syracuse or Water Street. We want to create a complete street where people will be able to walk, bike, we're going to bury the utilities, and we're going to make the street a beautiful welcome mat for people that are um, visiting the village of Salve. Um, I'm also uh, very proud to tell you that we have money in this project to improve the streetscape on Milton Ave. We're going to redo sidewalks, plant trees, put in lights and bike paths, and that main street on, uh, in the village of Salve will get a, a, a much needed facelift. There's housing as part of this project. There's $10 million in this project for housing. Five million of that will be set aside for senior housing. There's something really remarkable about the village of Salve and the generations of people that stay here. And we don't have the housing stock in the village of Salve to make it easy for people who want to stay in the village that their grandparents grew up in, that their parents grew up in. Salve has a real proud tr tradition. We want to make it easy for people who want to grow old to be able to do so in the village of Salve. So money will be set aside to create senior housing as part of this project. And the additional $5 million will be to help create uh, new market rate housing. There's money in here for deconstruction. There are areas that um, are suffering from a little blight, and we want to have money set aside for deconstruction. There's facade improvements. Uh, the legislature chairman has insisted on a matching grant for homeowners. If homeowners are willing to put a little of their money into their houses to spruce things up, the um, county is going to do the same um, in partnership with the state. There's small projects as part of this, medium-sized projects, large projects. There will be something for everyone. The governor has set very high goals for minority and women-owned businesses to participate in projects. And not only has he increased those goals, but he's exceeded those goals. And we're committed here to do the same thing. We're going to put small businesses to work doing the projects that we're highlighting here today. And last uh, but not least, a key part of this project for uh, us is going to be working in partnership with New York State to create a new uh, concert pavilion on Onondaga County parkland across the lake from uh, Onondaga Lake Park right now. This is a drawing of where it'll be on the site, but you'll all be happy to know that we're actually going to look far and wide. We're going to have a wide open competition for architecture. There's some uh, very interesting facilities that have been built around the country and around the world, and we're going to have a competition for an architectural um, project right here on the shores of the lake. And we're going to put in docks to accommodate water taxis. We'll be able to bring people from the village of Liverpool straight over. There will be access to the Inner Harbor and all that's been happening in the Inner Harbor uh, to bring folks up to this site. This white line that goes around is the extension of the trail, the Loop the Lake Trail. You can now walk from the village of Liverpool all the way around the lake to the site where this will be. You'll be able to ride your bikes. It's going to be paved 
all the way over there. And when you see this open uh, around Memorial Day of this year, I think you'll be able to see views that you never knew existed. That you could live your whole life here, and because this lake has been so dirty and you've been walled off from it, for you to be able to get out on the lake and see the lake from that vantage point, I think people are going to be um, very, very pleased. And I think they're um, going to appreciate the commitment that we made that because it was public dollars in large part, federal, state, and local, public dollars that cleaned the lake, that there will be public access to the lake. This will remain an Onondaga County Park facility. We hope that we'll bring folks in and with the new welcome mat, those folks will come, they'll stay, they'll vi visit in the village of Salve, and this project can help us all rise together. The governor has insisted on a timeline, as he says, in real time. All of these projects will be started this year in 2014. We hope to have that open by the end of the construction season in 2015. And I hope that you will very, very quickly see the improvements. The county is going to bring parks, facilities, our water environment, our community development, all hands on deck. We appreciate the leverage that the state is giving us. And we're going to make this project happen, happen well and happen quickly. The, this is overall about a $100 million project. Uh, a key part of this is going to be that Onondaga County Legislature is going to direct the $2.5 million of casino money that we now get because the referendum passed. We will not get a casino in Onondaga County as a part of that deal, but we will start to get some of the revenue from the Turning Stone because of the deal that Governor Cuomo has put together. So that money will leverage $50 million for this project. The state is committing $30 million. We have our sewer fund, uh, our community development fund, our village improvement fund. It's all hands on deck. We expect $100 million will be invested publicly that we think will leverage even more in private development in Salt Lake in the next year and a half.